Welcome to Scorpio Wolf Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the fire sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, not everything in this reading will resonate with you, so take what's yours and leave the rest for someone else. Also, the rules could be reversed, so flip it as you may see fit. Also, again, these readings are meant to be timeless, so whenever you're meant to see and hear them is when you're meant to see and hear them. In order to save time, I have pulled the cards for you, so let's get to your reading. So, I've gotten a couple requests to do a general reading because not everybody is in a relationship or thinking of somebody or another person. So, it doesn't it doesn't benefit everybody to have a you versus them every week. So, I'm going to give the you versus them readings a weekly break and do them every other week and then do these general readings every other week as well. So, this week will be general reading uh, and it's going to be broken out with past present, and future cards. So there's your, that's your three card spread. Your past energy, your present energy, and your future energy. So let's get to your reading, uh, shall we? So in the past energy, I kind of get that for some of you, Aries, uh, you have, you're in the hangman energy. And that when you're in the hangman energy, it's going, it's kind of stepping back and kind of looking things at a different perspective. You know, when you're looking things upside down from a different angle, things look a little different, you know. So you're kind of growing your intuition. Um, you're kind of just letting it, um, you know, manifest into something higher. So you're, you're training your intuition to be more in tune with what's going around around you. Um, it's clarified by Ace of Wands, and that's being kind of stuck with ideas you have not been able to produce any ideas so you kind of have to go in this hangman to get a different view of things so that you can come up with ideas so that's kind of what forced you into the hangman energy to begin with in the past is that feeling that's that feeling of being stuck uh not having any ideas you know it's kind of like your thought your 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 over your thoughts have been overwhelmed with other things that you just had to take a step back and kind of put yourself in this hangman energy. In your present condition, because of this hangman and intuition, you kind of became the queen of cups in this in this certain scenario. So the queen of cups is about again being in your intuition, being intuitively open. Uh, mainly with since it's the cups card, it's mainly with the your heart chakra. So you're kind of opening up your heart chakra. You're feeling a lot of empathy. You're kind of feeling out the emotions of other people. And it puts you in the, the high priestess energy. That, and that's a another intuitive card. Uh, so I kind of feel that Aries for this week and for probably the next couple of weeks that you are in this high priestess energy. You are intuitively adept to the things going on around you. You using it and... It's also telling of that you need to be focusing on your dreams. If you have vivid dreams during this time period, it's time to pay attention to those dreams and build your intuition up because you have you have been in the hangman energy. You've built your you found a way to start building your you take a step back to build your intuition. You're opening up your heart chakra. And in the future, you have the moon card. The moon card is another intuitive card. Uh, shedding light on things that you appear in the darkness, you know, like in the water, you still get the, the light of the moonlight. So it does illuminate the murky waters a little bit. So you're using your intuition to uncover hidden truths. And this is a slow, slowly developing uh, and beneficial uh, skill to have. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's a slow moving you know, set fast, it's reliable, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is a reliable energy. Um, they're gonna, they may be a little slow to develop, but in the end, you're, you're the high, you're in the high priestess energy, so you are building the intuition up spiritually. So, to sum it all up, I, I kind of feel, Aries, that you are in a, currently in a state of building your intuition out, feeling, you know, opening up your heart chakra, um, because you don't want to be stuck in this Ace of Wands energy. You didn't want to feel stuck in that Ace of Wands energy in the past. It forced you to look at things from a different perspective. 
And I kind of feel that for this week and for the couple up a couple of weeks, you're gonna be looking more into yourself, looking at your dreams, and opening up that heart chakra. Because once you start opening up these chakras and, and being intuitive, it illuminates the darkness and uncovers hidden truths that you have may have been dealing with in the past. And it's a slow, it's a skill that's gonna develop over time. So keep at it, Aries and uh, that's all I really have for you this week. Um, thank you for joining me this week. Um, we are up to 35 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button because it does help to get my content circulated around YouTube. You know, just a like if you like the reading. Uh, leave a comment. Share the video. Uh, is this a good uh, reading for you guys to... Do you resonate with this reading at all? Or is this reading beneficial to have every other week? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a great week. Bye.